you guys ever been to Paradise? Well, we're about to take you there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Paradise Rolls, and today we're playing the Arrakis Conquest. I'm Mark Anthony, the Game Master. Let's get into a quick recap. Um, last time on the Arrakis Conquest, um, the party went to go and steal a captain from a ship not too far away. Um, they ended up murdering some people, and Zana organized some books. Um, Books. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so you guys just finished abducting this guy and are on a longboat back to your ship. Um, what are you doing? Um, I'm on a longboat rescue. back to the ship. Okay. You're on a longboat back to the ship? Or are you micromanaging any... <laughs> are you micromanaging the oarsmen? You know me. Oh, no, actually, no. I'm not. No? Not, no. no. <laughs> okay. Um, well... Then you have a very silent journey. <laughs> I'm leaning over the side, resting like this, just watching the water below. Okay. I'm swimming. It is a fairly dark out, um, so you get a little bit of reflection up into the starlight above, um, and there is a slight orangey haze that is just barely fading out. Um, and otherwise, it is a very chill day on the water. There's not a, you know, storm brewing or anything. So um, you head back. This um, oarsman, I guess, is, I don't know what the actual term for it is. The, the long boatsman, something like that. Boat swain, I, maybe. No. <laughs> I don't think it's a boat swain. No. Um, a sailor? He is completely... <laughs> seaman? <laughs> yes, the uh, seaman, seaman is completely ripped. Um, Hot. And it is just boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. As soon as you're like far enough away that his oaring is not too loud. Um, <laughs> but you get back, and the same way that you got dropped down, the side of the boat like rolls down, and you end up like on some piece of it somehow, and it lifts you up and drops you into the ship. Um, and As we so, drop into the ship, I'm like, wee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to gaze out to the sky. You said it was a red, red sky? Yeah, yeah. Red sky in the morning. Sailor, take warning. Is it morning or is it night? <laughs> it it's is, morning. Uh, we, we did an overnight yeah. um, heist. It is oh. morning. More morning, yeah. So, um, as you get to the ship, you feel the entire thing lurch and start turning rather Whoa. quickly. As you remember, the acceleration of this ship is ridiculous. It basically flips a bitch and, <laughs> and takes off just a little bit of, the, of a ways um, away, and then you feel that acceleration just completely stop. Um, and right next to you, as you're, like, getting all of your shit, you're, like, everyone's, like, pulling this <laughs> captain out. You see the admiral step through the wall right right next to you. And that same, like, weird flesh tearing away from the ship feeling that you got, that, that weird visual, happens again as he steps out of the wall, looks down, and looks at all of you. How many did you kill in pursuit of the this man? Two. I didn't kill anyone. I mean, <laughs> I think it was just two, wasn't it? Just two. Yeah. Yep. I know more than necessary. Two. <laughs> <laughs> we cleaned the scene up and hopefully staged it enough to where they assume they kidnapped her, get kidnapped the target, and left. And how many um, crewmen were there? Seven. I think it was seven. I think it was seven. Seven, including the two that were killed and the captain, or seven? Seven, not including the captain. So there were eight. There are now Pretty five. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Probably. That sounds yeah. about History right. check that. And history check it. <laughs> We're like, yes, that. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, something like that. That's big. That thing is what, that's the truth. Whatever's right. Well, because I was I was thinking seven, and then when you said seven, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's seven then. I thought it was. There was one here. We had one, so seven. two, three, four. That's weird. Five. Did you get a six. seven? I yeah. did. It is, it is seven. Okay. <laughs> the stars Just for that. The stars have ever so nice. Seven, seven, one. seven. <laughs> um, oh, man, we need to go gamble now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he, he looks around and he's, he's like, okay, so there were eight minus three would make five upon the ship. That is correct. That is I mean, math. That Did it sounds like a... basic math, man. <laughs> Gilbo. Never mind. You disrespect and I'll break your legs. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, did the, did the ship seem of solid build to you? Fast enough? Usable? It's alright. Big enough, it's... I haven't been able to see its speed because it was just... air. Yes, um, well, a skeleton crew cannot keep up with piloting throughout the night, understandable. There were skeletons on that boat. I didn't see them. Neither. I thought that he under <laughs> I thought that you would both understand what a skeleton crew was. I understand, yes. but I like fucking with them. It's a crew of skeletons, of course. He just, he just thumbs up. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Usually immortal and of divine I just pat Ambrose on the back. Immortal <laughs> skeletons! I pee a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, I have a new task for you. I wish for you to show me what Balthazar is capable of. Whatever he needs, however it may be done, pillage, take the ship. His way. With him or without him? With him. Okay. He will, <laughs> he will lead you on this pursuit. Be cautious, as I have noticed changes in the life below near the ship near that ship near that ship. it's probably because they were poachers oh my gosh yes but that's what you told me already yeah <laughs> it's the ocean getting its revenge probably right <laughs> yeah I, I i can agree with that that probably sounds right what was the, what were the changes we knew this the um, creatures of the deep were hunting in an irregular pattern. Um, mm. Not necessarily one which creatures would typically hunt in that way. It was more of a um, directed effort. We could almost tell they were commanded. That being said, uh, be careful, there may be more to this than meets the eye. I will free them. We will free them! For science! Right? <laughs> That's what you say, right? <laughs> this is not for science! Oh. <laughs> but it could be for, I mean, it could be for science, dude. It sounds like that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> well, like, I mean, if that's, if that's what makes you want to do it, I am all about it. This is just for the, the well-being of the animals. <laughs> well, the well-being is also a great addition to it. <laughs> <laughs> the well-being of that animal population, mm. shouldn't we eliminate the irregular... Irregularity? <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> Can you repeat that? I don't think I understood. Eliminate <laughs> 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 okay. to the English language. <laughs> Butcher it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the irregularity. 
Yes, if that if that happens, um, you know, as a sub consequence, then sure. Otherwise, bring the ship to me um, and follow Balthazar's orders. I wish for him to lead in the manner in which he see it in action. Aye, aye, sir. Here, here, sir. We could definitely do that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the sounds of like various instruments and instruments clanging, like banging against each other as Balthazar walks up and he's just covered. He has like a double drum set, <laughs> like a little two drum thing going on. He's got himself a ukulele. He's got himself a little harp, a lyre. He's got a flute two different types of flutes, and he's just like walking up with all this shit. Um, Will you be playing the spoons tonight, chef? <laughs> <laughs> the shade of it all. Oh, I'm actually in a good mood today. Yeah. I did bring some. <laughs> I'll go ahead and use them. I'll do the drums today. <laughs> um, Xavier should be coming. I. Do quite enjoy his violin sound. Uh, he's just got the right amount of emotion to really take to the heartstrings. <laughs> he needs to learn how to play something other than E minor. Agreed, but it and will chopsticks. work. It'll work so well tonight. But the way he plays the E minor, very good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> Uh, it reminds me of that guy from Cheers who played Mr. Potato Head. I don't remember his name in Cheers. I've no idea. Cheers before. <laughs> An old guy. Uh. Old. Are you referencing Cheers <laughs> in 2023? <laughs> yes. Who is this? I'm old. <laughs> do um. Do the two of you remember that one poaching we did? There was a song that I said reminded me of a starry night. It reminded you of intestines being twisted with the subject still alive. It's a very oddly different um, Jesus, effect. Jesus, uh, why? <laughs> yes. I... Oh yeah, the Daffodil's Lament. Daffodil's Lament. Yes, yeah. you named it. I remember. <laughs> well, I think we're going to do do that with a little bit more of an up-tempo. It so should like get the intestines everyone... are getting twisted faster kind of tempo? Um, no, like the stars are blinking instead of just being stars. Oh. Um, I, you can ask Seth about his opinion on, on it. Um, how, how would, how would, you know, my idea of the stars normal and then the stars blinking how would that translate to the intestinal twisting? Um, maybe like a, like a crescendo, decrescendo, and then, I don't know. I think you mix in the arteries with the intestines, is what Seth is trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, okay, anyway. You're confusing me in at this point, Captain. Oh, um, understandable. Did you get my hurdy gurdy though? When I died, did you get my hurdy gurdy? Yes. Because this. I'm gonna this reach into the box and pull great. out some ashes. Here you go. Oh, dude. A no. bit of that was you, you know. Oh, gross. Okay, this vial will be fine. <laughs> you have uh, something kind of similar to a No, no, no! I'm bored. I can't. I can't. Okay. I'm traumatized. Okay. What were it's you gonna fine. say? Do we get to go to sleep first? Because I will be much more helpful if I get a little nappy in. You do not. This is this is the um, epitome of Seth. <laughs> Where do you think I learned it? <laughs> I hate everyone on this box. <laughs> uh, what do you need? Maybe I can help you. 
was just gonna get some spell slots and wild shapes back. And you get wild shapes back on a short rest, right? I've only used one spell slot. So cha cha you change some of my rest. spells. You easily had a short rest. Okay. What'd you use all your spells on? Um, just the dude uh, right here. <laughs> No, the dude right here was no. Taken I, ca out I cast. By um, oh yeah. Oh, you cast a pass without trace. Pass without trace, and I don't know something else. Some first level spell. I don't know what that was. Oh, uh, fog cloud. I don't remember. Yes, it was fog cloud. And then somebody did something, and it went away, or it stayed behind, and we moved out, or something like that. It was like a wasted thing. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna change some spells too, but that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Luckily. We can do this. You must strike quick while the iron is hot. Be swift as a coursing river. Yeah, I can agree with you. Yeah, man. You, um. The Admiral just stares at you. Second, you back to the boat. And the dude, <laughs> the, the oarsman is still right there, just ready to fucking go. Yes. Um. <laughs> Gilbo to... high fives the ore bearer. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dude. He really puts off great vibes. <laughs> super fast, super buff, super talented. You keep doing what you're doing. He dances his pecs a little. <laughs> <laughs> and then he flexes his abs in different sections. <laughs> and then he does, it like, he does it like opposites. <laughs> oh, man. Can he play chopsticks on his ass? <laughs> puts his hands together and just goes, honestly, dude, I'm blown away by that. You could <laughs> play the xylophone on his fucking abs. They are ridiculous. Um, Truly but... wish I knew your workout regimen. Let me know. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's basically this, and he, 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 he's like, oh, really? He's like, some sometimes, you know, I get really into it, and he starts like, uh. leaning forward. It really gets the abs going pretty intensely here. I can see that. <laughs> well, this dude's lats, by the way, are coming up like to his ears. Oh like it looks ridiculous. No neck. Yeah, no neck. It's, no neck whatsoever. It looks stupid. <laughs> um, Let's get a move on. You get shunted out of the side of the ship onto the surface of the water, and he starts rowing you back right on over. Where is my mouse? You have to click it because it turns off. Oh. You are rowing fairly quick to keep keep pace with the rising sun. You are trying to keep a little bit of the darkness with you. Um, you approach about 400 meters off. Okay, so we're on a long boat over here. You're on a you're on a tiny little boat. Just yeah, just big enough to keep you all. Yeah, here's perfect. A boat. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will be the big dude. Yep. Who's rowing? Is Blutus there? <laughs> Blutus is not there. Blutus does Blutus. not belong there. <laughs> about the this is about the dark. Okay. About yeah. The dark. Oh so, my god. It's on a upside down. Oh, all right. You can actually like fire it. How many people on the ship? How'd you do that? Yeah, you push it, but I think it's just. I think it's just not. Right. Oh, oh! You push it up. Oh God. Oh, we could do that to roll. That's Sorry, <laughs> guys. I'm, I'm ADDing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled an eight, a three. I bet if you get some little ball bearings, you could shoot them out. Grab your three spiders and throw them around. The In addition to the five. The outside of the ship. In addition to the five. Yeah. Okay. Five like out and about. Yes. Or three. Out three and about. out about. Okay, so I've got. Or I'm trying to find different ones for you. We'll get to do this big guy zombie. And then I need another spider. Pick number three, my lord. Pick number three, my lord. Actually, that one will work. Three. This? Sure. All right. Put this over there. Oh, On no. On your side. 
Just out of here? No, on the, on the, it's in the water. It's in the water? Yeah. Where do you want the five on the boat? One up top. <coughs> two at the, like, bottom side. Here? In, yeah, then that, like, bottom, bottom, bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And then Talk one at the us. crow's nest and one at the door, the captain's door. Oh, in like the front. Yeah. All right. All right, so we've got crow's nest, driver, two people below. Yep. Captain door. Two creatures. I'm trying to like And a partridge and a pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> Tis the. Oh, sorry, everyone. And as you get to about 300 meters out, Balthazar puts a finger to his lips and taps on the um, to... oarsman. And the oarsman slows the boat down. And oh, Balthazar dude, says, if you continue rowing like that, you're going to get really good muscle definition. The slower you go, the more it stresses the Balthazar muscles. Balthazar looks at you your and, is so good. and puts his finger oh, up. Sorry, and like, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as we uh, row, the beat of the row will be our tempo. As we approach, oarsmen, please speed us up. Do you want me to pass? Uh, Cut. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Uh, That's a lot of choice. Yeah. Your understanding is that you don't need it for what okay. is about to come. Yeah. Were you, I don't know anything you, about this. I think you, yeah, you were there when we rolled up to that village and everyone was incapacitated by the crew's song. Mm -hmm. They were dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had, every, he had of, the yeah. entire village dancing. I think I maybe, I personally was maybe gone for that, so that might be why. Maybe. You may have also not shown up until like two sessions after. I remember there being something mm -hmm. with a village and people like dancing and yeah. stuff, but okay. I think and I yeah. came at the set. I think I was gone for that session. Zana was there, but I was not. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't worry. I'm hopping into a campaign. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so um, you've got a viol. I do. You've got. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. All right. What are you going to play? I think if you recall last time, you probably don't want me playing for you. Oh, you were playing a The cow, triangle. Though, right? I was a playing triangle. the triangle. Yeah. And yeah. I failed miserably. <laughs> if I didn't play Emmanuel, he'd be mad because this is kind of a concert. This is. Um, so, as the oarsman starts rowing you, you hear Balthazar start drumming to the beat of every exactly. single time that he takes a, like it takes a stroke, um, and he's going to get a pretty good roll, um, and it starts to kind of like speed up and get you kind of like your heart racing a little bit. Um, he looks over at the cowbell at the, the triangle, and he's like. Whoa. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me performance check. <laughs> and it will be in addition to his. <laughs> which will essentially give you advantage. Okay. <laughs> 14. 14, okay. Yeah. You hit this triangle just, just right. To where it doesn't like have a bing. It's just like this weird. All of a sudden, it's just like shrill throughout the air, and it gets creepy up in here. Um, he looks back over at Xavier, and Xavier is gonna hit his uh, violin. Ooh, for a 19 on the dice, and it, it comes in right with that shrill tone from the triangle, and you hear this. As soon as you hear it, the water starts to vibrate. You see this like shimmering and like shaking on the surface of the water um, as you feel the magic begin. And he looks over at Ambrose and he's like, I hear what you're saying. That is never heard before. 
<laughs> I'm playing it like a cello because I'm tiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, performance check for me. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. That's that's a little worse, oh. but it isn't bad. Oh, yeah. He's got that. He's got that E flat going already. So <laughs> when you come in, it's it's just eerie enough, and you hear this guttural sound come from Balthazar as he just starts making this. Throat singing. It's, yeah. It is this weirdly loud bassy tone that just emanates from him and also from like the air around you. Um, the current starts to shift and like the, the waves actually start to like become, you can see them now, not just this weird shimmer. And then he looks over and he's like, let's get on that boat. And he looks at you, Seth. Go ahead and roll. You All get, right. by the way, a the piece uh, de la resistance. You get a plus two on your performance checks innately. Be a twenty-nine. <laughs> you got a natural. Oh 20. wow! Yes. Sick. <laughs> wow. Um. I assume Gilbo does not have an instrument. Gilbo does not have an instrument. <laughs> and All right. In that case, that. Gilbo <laughs> is just like. In that case, Gilbo is just kind of tapping along to the beat on his shell, <laughs> like, just kind of nodding his head, and it's just like, yes, absolutely. You know what? Absolutely. For, <laughs> for that, for that, I'm going to give Ambrose advantage. Hell yeah. Reroll that 13. <laughs> Not better. Not better, oh. but, but a nice effort. <laughs> the 29, though, will have... Uh, Good impact in a natural twenty out of Emmanuel. Fuck yeah. Who, Me and him both got it. That twenties. That's sick. 20s. We're in sync. <laughs> you That's are awesome. in sync. Are you ba, ba, Lance ba. or? <laughs> <laughs> That's Backstreet Boys, isn't it? No, it's in sync. Oh. No, it's in sync. I don't know my ninety three. So, so I do. Yeah. Yeah. So you have this. You're, you're playing your, your instrument, and as you're playing it, there's this weird, like, magical sound that appears to be coming, like, as the, as the tones come out, you hear them change as they hit the air and hit your ears. And it, like, gets so weird. And all of a sudden, you see the ship and the water completely stagnate. As it, com as it comes to this complete halt, you watch as the person in the crow's nest hops off the crow's nest. Straight onto the deck. And you hear a scream followed by dancing. You hear the sound of this like, almost, almost a- Is it like a grito? Ball, <laughs> like a ballroom dance, uh, like a like really a slow, like swaying to this beat that is created initially by the oarsmen as you guys approach. Hmm. And everyone on the ship is fucking out of it. Would you say it's irresistible? It is <laughs> essentially, yeah. I'm going to basically say that there is an Otto's irresistible <laughs> dance on the entire ship at this point. Um, you guys finish up your song, get to this ridiculous, weird solo on the drums from um, Balthazar, and he s stops, spins the spoons on his <laughs> claws, yes, puts them down, the spoons. and uh, um, looks over at Gilbo and says, throw me on. <laughs> you got it. All right, man. And uh, <laughs> just take him by the legs and just. <laughs> by the legs. <laughs> Basically, yeah, take, takes like a full crouch and just. <laughs> okay, make me no, that's a. The uh, make me a oh. strength check. No, this is the. Yeah, that's the oarsman. This okay. is. Okay. At did, advantage uh, because he is going to sure. jump. He, 
Okay, I want to make sure he said throw me on, right? Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss over. It's just like, no, Gilbo, no! <laughs> All right, uh, you said strike check? Yep. Right. At advantage. At advantage? Okay. Yep. Uh, that is good, then. <laughs> okay, uh, 16 plus 4, non-nat 20. For okay. strength check. And Balthazar's landing is not great. <laughs> he goes a little <laughs> higher than he expected and just completely face plants <laughs> into the deck of the ship. This deck? Gilbo the just, bottom deck. This yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gilbo just looks and goes, oh, okay, that one's on me. <laughs> Next time, a little less, a little less from the shell, dude. Gotcha. Balthazar stands up, motions everyone to get on. And Xavier, right away, breaks out his dagger and walks up to one of the people that's dancing. I mean, Looks there's around. really no one up here, except the one in front of the door, and then there's the two below. Okay, he'll go to the one in front of the door. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. All right. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin, oh, no! <laughs> but he all, but Balthazar also motions for everyone to get up onto the okay. ship. And... Gilbo, mind throwing me as well? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Hold on. Uh, do you want the same amount that I threw him, or less? Because it looks like... I am considerably smaller than Like Balthazar. he hit a little hard. Less would be great. Perfect. Okay, hold on, man. Less is more. <laughs> um, advantage or no advantage on this one, Mark? I'll let you add... Seth's acrobatics. Or okay. That'll be a negative. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. That'll be a two. All right. So that'll be... Why am I oh, I... In athletics? <laughs> I'm about to eat you farther this time. Because I rolled an 18 <laughs> plus 4, 22. Plus his... Uh, 22? Whatever his total. With whatever his is. Oh, 24, 24. total. That's going yeah. to gonna basically have you... Overshoot the book. No, you're, <laughs> you get to land right on the on the railing, right? <laughs> on the outside, no, on the, like, oh, over there. Yeah, right there. And you just... Uh, uh, <laughs> to stay with myself okay. warp, with the war oh. pick. <laughs> uh, I use a war pick for boarding, by the way. Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gilbert just, just gives you a big green fingered thumb up as you uh, stab the knife and I'm just like, yes. Well performed, my dude. Well performed. So it's a pickaxe, basically. He's got That's this, it. like, big old pickaxe that he, like, sticks into the side of the ship. That's awesome. Um, I'm just going to fly up here. But yeah, at this point, <laughs> you're the last one on the boat, Gilbo, so you can you can start climbing on. Yeah. Uh, how'd you get up? Um, I actually... Zana actually notices something interesting right Ooh. before starting to get onto the ship. Yes, tell me. You you start to see through this like intense wave. It's like, vroom, 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 you know? And you peer into the, the ocean, and I need you to make me a perception check. That dies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> don't love it. Um, don't, don't, that's a 16. 16 is perfect. Okay. So, yeah, you notice below that there is two dolphins and a great white underneath the water. And they are bobbing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> they're the dancing. Ocean. They are dancing in this really like weird way. Would I know um, if like interacting with them would like prevent them from, would like stop them from dancing? You have never tried. You did not try at the portal village to break anyone out of this. Mm -hmm. So you have no idea what if you could. Okay, um, I want to, so this is actually what I was 
um, wanting to do anyway. I kind of want to go down and like, I have Emissary of the Sea, so I can communicate simple ideas with beasts that can breathe water. But does that count dolphins? I feel like it should count dolphins. It, it'll count dolphins. Okay. Because sure. yeah, yeah. they don't actually breathe. Like, okay, but I think that that's it. Yeah. I'll, I'll say anything that can hold their breath for <laughs> long enough to, you know, do their uh, yeah, daily lives. Yeah, this is a very bad description because there's a lot of animals in the sea that live in the sea full time that yeah. don't breathe water. Um, okay, I... Um, in, in a few minutes, can we take a break? I want to go swim down to them and try to communicate, like, friend. Okay. Do you get anything? Any understanding or anything from... It just says you can communicate simple ideas with beasts that can breathe water. That's the only thing it says. That makes it seem like they can understand you, you can understand them. Mm -hmm. um, but I will let you go down, try and communicate the idea of like friends and make an animal handling check to see if you can under get anything out of them. And what do you go up to? The great white is a little bit further further deep and the two dolphins are kind of near the surface. Um, I'd like to try and like communicate friend to all of them, but I'll go to, towards the dolphins. Closer to the dolphins, okay. Oh, um, 14. 14? You feel like you would get something from them right now? And it's odd that you are not. Okay, interesting. You are unsure if it's due to this, this like, area spell that's going on, or something else. Hmm. You're okay. entirely unsure if they even understand you. Mm, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. You're not even sure they're animals. <laughs> oh, mm. Am I sure they're animals? They're animals? They look Suspicious. Exactly like dolphins, <laughs> so are you. And a great white. Oh, Where am I? Can I try to investigate to see if... I don't know, like, based off of their movements and behaviors if they seem like they're actually animals or if they're maybe like roll me an investigation check and i will i, I know where you're going with this so yes i will let you check for something god damn Four. <laughs> no do uh do dolphins speak aquan I need to I'm only looking because Gilbo speaks Aquan. Let me check. I don't think they're I intelligent. Think they, I think they speak. They're more. probably not. Well, I don't know. Can dolphins you, might have a higher intelligence score. I don't know. I need to. Yeah, can someone look up dolphins? I got it. I'm not sure their intelligence. I'm sure they have a decent intelligence, but I'm pretty sure their language is classified under none. I'm sure language right. is none. Their intelligence okay. is negative two. Okay. Oh god, really? Negative two. Negative two modifier, so six. Really? That's more than most other animals. That Which is. is ironic because yeah, you're right, yeah. dolphins are apparently the smartest animal. In That's kind of what I was surprised, yeah. yeah. But okay, okay. never mind, they don't they're speak no language. No. But... We're not. <laughs> I... You, like, speak to creatures as a, like... Profession, like you, your main. I'm a professional. <laughs> your main research has been into plants and animals. And I'm also a fucking aquatic creature. Which makes that me is true. Kind of mm -hmm. tell you to specify somewhere that you gain advantage when you are trying to convey messages or understand creatures of the sea. Okay. Just of the sea. But that means that you get to roll one more time. Nice. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna switch. Oh, dice. I've had really bad. Like the last three sessions that I've played, I've had really bad dice rolls. Like just here and Safra. Like I don't know what the fuck is going on. Come on. God damn it. <laughs> Work had to even out eventually. Seriously. 
I know, you've it does really even out. Out. I roll just as many nat ones as I do nat twenties on crow. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Five. <laughs> yeah, there's something weird about these these creatures. Um, and that's just about all you get. Okay. And with that, we will be back next time with the taking of the ship. <gasps> And whatever shenanigans might occur there. Hope you enjoyed yourself in paradise. Shenanigans! Hey. Hey. Getting rid of all my dice. <laughs> <laughs>